Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today I'm filming in my parents' bathroom in their house here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You probably are gonna hear Bob in the background. He really wants to play. He is loving life here, loves being outside in the backyard. However, he's a small dog. So being in Tulsa, I can't just put him outside here. <laughs> Even though it's nice weather here, there are birds of prey that could get him. So, so I'm making the best of what I have right now in terms of filming, but I want to get this video out to you guys because I did order some things off of Amazon that we're going to try some new TikTok viral. This is going to drive me nuts. <laughs> some new TikTok viral products. Either way, let's get right on into the video. So the first product that I did get off of Amazon is the Tear Tear Milk Skin Toner. Now, I can't test this on right now because I've already cleansed my face. So I will test it out tomorrow after I, well even tonight after I wash my face. So this comes in a 5.07 fluid ounce, 150 milliliters. It is in a beautiful packaging. So we'll test this out. All right, so I got the Tear Tear Mask Fit Red Cushion in 2-1-N Ivory. So this is supposed to prevent smudging of makeup in the mask, 24 hours makeup persistence in the mask, and 72 hours of makeup persistence. Uh, can't make up those directions. Makes no sense. But either way, this packaging is 18 grams or 0.63 ounces. The packaging is really pretty. And I can peel that off. Now it does come with its own little sponge brush and it opens up to reveal Looks like it's actually sealed packaging, which is actually pretty nice. All right, so this is what it looks like. We are gonna test this out on my skin. I'm not exactly sure how to apply it, but we're gonna go just like such. Oh, I guess you just push, push it into the skin. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. I don't know why they call it a mask. Look at that, it already is creasing. Holy cow. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. From far away, it looks beautiful. I'm like, okay, like covered up some of this redness, but the moment I get to talking, like settles in this fine line right here. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to set this or how any of this goes, but I don't like how it's already separating right up in here. Now I did like that I barely put anything on and then it spread with good even coverage, but I don't know, I'm just not a fan so far of, of this. But I'm gonna follow through, we'll do the other side and and this was again with one little, one little press in. I'm gonna actually use this bigger mirror because I feel like I'm cranking my neck to try to see in that small mirror and the compact. And again, maybe it'll work better if I use the toner before. I'm not really sure. Trying to give it into the creases with this, it like moves the makeup. It kind of moves the makeup a little bit from other areas. I don't know if you can see that or not. Mm, I'm not sure. We'll do a wear down test and we'll see. I'm not sure. I'll put all the prices in the description and the prices as well should be up on the screen. All right, let's get into the next ones. Now I did buy these Bay Free Water Cheek and Lip Tints. 
and go over each one. Okay, so this one is 04 Cherry. Now these remind me almost of the Benefit. And I'm wondering if maybe this is Benefit before Benefit pays for the product. I'm not really sure, whatever it's called. Uh, this is called Apple. It's kind of like where Crown Cosmetics, I think it was Morphe, maybe it's Kylie. Somebody paid to basically have the same cosmetics but put their name on it, but it was literally the same thing. This one is Strawberry. And then the last color is Watermelon. So I think I want to try cherry for us. I'm going to go in with a brush, test it out. Don't tell me I actually like the way this foundation is settling into my skin. All right, that's a cute little applicator. This is the cherry color. Now this is very, very red pink. And I think it's disrupting. I'm not sure if it's taking off. I think it is taking off the foundation. Let's try it on the lips. It's very cute on the lips. And I think if I didn't have foundation on, I could blend this a little bit more. So we'll have to test these bad boys out when I don't have this foundation on. And this is what they look like. All the different colors. All right, the next up I got the Buttermilk Bronzer from NYX, and I got the shade Deserve Butter. Figure out how to open this. So this is how it comes. And we're just gonna go with the brush and we're gonna test this bad boy out. This color. Ooh! That color payoff was like, whoa. Oh my gosh, it smells just like summer, you guys. That is incredible. Oh my goodness, it smells like you're at the beach or the pool. Yeah, I'm liking that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do a little sweep. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, guys. I can't even explain. All right, let's see, is it taking off? I don't think this bronzer is taking off the foundation. I don't think, I think the blush definitely did but I don't believe the bronzer did. So then I did also go to Sephora and I got a little sample version of the Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Joy. So I did wanna try more of a peachy blush for the summer. I'm just using very, very little. Wow, and it really only took very little to give a good color payoff. Now, I've never used anything from Rare Beauty before, so this was a first for me. And wow. That's really cute. And paired with that bronzer, it gives a really pretty just flushed look. Like I was out in the sun and I had a great day. Yeah, that's... Wow, I'm, I am impressed. Wow. And I, I really truly don't think that it took off the foundation. I'm not for certain, but I'm pretty sure it didn't. So then the next thing that I got was this 12 hour retractable Sephora eyeliner waterproof in the shade matte cobalt blue and i'll show you guys here in a second there we go it's just it's a beautiful beautiful shade that color payoff is all right so i'm back the color payoff is there however you really have to like and I don't know if it's the foundation on my lids or what it is, but it just, you really have to go in harder than I would have expected to get the color payoff. It is what it is. The last product that I have to test is the KVD Beauty, the Tattoo 
pencil liner. It is long wear gel and it's in the color pearl white. So I could stencil some stars because I'm obviously not very good at <laughs> stars. So let's see how easy this is. Oh, pretty much not. Uh, yeah, it like, it's cause I thought this was liquid. I thought I was getting a liquid. Let's try. A little, <laughs> a little star. I don't even know how you, how do you even like sharpen this bad boy? I really thought it was liquid. But I can always add like, this color payoff is not very good for it being KVD. Um, like I can't even do like little dots. This thing is just uh, not a fan of that for sure. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the products I got. I'm going to wear down, see how this foundation wears down. The lip tint looks pretty cute. The only thing is we need to exfoliate our lips before putting a lip tint because you can see everything. I do think this blue liner though, I've never thought about doing blue liner on my eyes or even on the colored one, but it actually is really cute and kind of gives my eyes a little pop of color without really being. So I'm really, I'm, you know, I'm liking it. So, all right guys, that is it for these viral products as well as looks like some dupes that I got here. So let me know in the comments which products you are excited to try. Give this video a thumbs up if you really liked it. Also comment, let me know what you wanna see next. And that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. All right, I'm going to try the Tier Tier foundation again, but we're gonna try it with the Estee Lauder primer. And this is really bad bathroom lighting, but we use what we got. And we're also not going to use this brush or the sponge that came with it. I'm gonna try using a brush like this. This is what the foundation looks like. Oh, that actually goes on a lot better. And you can see the coverage, like. Like this is with it, this is without. Okay, I definitely like using this brush better than the sponge that it comes with and i'm trying to see if you guys can see any of the texture or whatnot but i think that it actually looks really good so i do like the way this foundation settled in with <laughs> with using the brush i think it looks really great there's not much texture like there was last time. There is a little bit under my eye, but otherwise I think it looks great. So here it is in natural light. Uh, of course, right now the blush and the bronzer look a little too dark. However, they're going to melt into my skin and it's gonna look really great. So when I check back in here in a little bit, you're gonna see and we'll see how the foundation wears throughout the day. So I hope that you guys Oh, can see a little bit with <laughs> with the light. We'll see what it looks like. But I did put on I did put on some blush and some bronzer, and it will melt into my skin. So it's gonna look really nice, I think. And put on a little <laughs> a little lip, a little lip tint. But I like the way this foundation turned out with with putting it on with a brush, so. Why are you so grouchy? Oh, God bless it. No, uh-uh, no.